Have you ever wondered what all goes into a snow forecast? Well, in short, a lot. Far more than we can cover in this short video. But let's go over some of the basics about the data we use. Some of you may be aware of a few of the main computer models we use, namely the American, European, and Canadian models. The meteorologists also utilize numerous other computer models and ensemble forecast systems. So what does this all mean? For any single weather event, there are likely hundreds of different potential outcomes that computer models produce. By looking at a single model solution, perhaps one that you've seen on social media or through a conversation with a coworker, you aren't getting the whole story and may be referencing in an extreme or unlikely scenario. This is where our jobs as meteorologists come in, to sort through all of the data, look for trends, and weed out solutions we know typically produce higher errors. One way to digest all of this data is to look at chances of different scenarios unfolding. We can do this by looking at high end, low end, and most likely amounts of snow. We can also look at the probability of receiving greater than a certain amount of snow. All this information is available at weather.gov forward slash FSD forward slash winter. Let's start with the high end amount. For all of you snow lovers out there, you could probably consider this your best case scenario. For everyone else, let's go ahead and consider a reasonable worst case scenario. From a mathematical perspective, using all of the data available to us, there is only a 10% chance of receiving more snow than the values listed on this map. Or to put it another way, there is a 90% chance of receiving less snow than the numbers listed. On the opposite end of the spectrum, the low end amount represents values that only have a 10% chance of receiving less snowfall or a 90% chance of greater snowfall. You may be saying, that's all great, but what's the actual forecast? After meteorologists look through all the data, we put together a most likely scenario. While this forecast won't cover all of the potential outcomes, it focuses on the model solutions that have the highest chance of being correct. Another way to look at this plethora of model data is to look at the chance of exceeding a certain amount of snow. Let's say you need to know what the chance is Yankton, South Dakota receives at least two inches of snow. We can do that. In this example, Yankton has an 84% chance of receiving two inches of snow or greater. The chances for six inches or more, a bit under a 50-50 chance or 43% to be exact. So as we move through the winter months, here are a few things to remember as you seek out your snowfall forecast. First off, avoid sharing extreme snowfall maps. You could be sharing a scenario that has minimal chance of actually occurring. Second, focus on the potential impacts of a winter storm, not a specific snowfall amount. Why? Well, that brings us to our final point. Forecasts change, so check back often and be sure to utilize a reliable source for your forecast information. Most importantly, always remain weather aware and weather prepared.